come with me as we learn all about the parts that make up a computer system. There are three main types of computer systems. Desktop computers, laptop computers, and tablet computers. All three use many of the same types of parts, but they may look different depending on the type of computer. The most important part of the computer is the Central Processing Unit, or CPU for short. This part is known as the brain of the computer. The CPU connects to the motherboard, which allows the CPU to connect to all the other parts of the computer. In some computers, the CPU and motherboard are built into the same casing as the monitor, and in other computers, they are in a separate box. The monitor is where information processed by the computer is displayed. Monitors come in many sizes. A tablet screen is a monitor, and a TV can be too. Some monitors sit on desks, and others are portable because they are part of a laptop or tablet computer. A keyboard is an input device that allows you to type information and instructions into the computer. It is made up of keys that input letters, numbers, symbols, controls, and functions. The mouse is another input device that controls a cursor on the screen and allows you to move or select items on the computer. The mouse can have a wire or be wireless. On a laptop, you control the cursor with your fingers on a trackpad. To hear what is happening on the computer, it will need speakers or headphones connected. Some computers, like tablets and laptops, have built-in speakers. If you want something on screen to be on paper, you can connect a printer to output a physical copy. Let's review all the parts we learned about today. There are three main types of computers, desktops, laptops, and tablets. This is the CPU and motherboard found inside the computer. The monitor shows us what is happening on the computer. The keyboard inputs letters, numbers, symbols, controls, and functions. The mouse controls the cursor. Speakers and headphones allow us to hear sounds on the computer. And printers can give us physical copies of something on the computer. And now we know the main parts that make up a computer. Thanks for learning with me.